Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got FC25 news, EA mistakes, and you might know what I'm talking about when I say that, and that footies loading screen that we just saw. There's a lot to talk about right now with FC Ultimate Team news. And I spent 1.5 million coins on an investment. Yes, in the middle of July, towards the end of this game, I'm still making some coins. Well, it's also to make my life easier during footies. That's why partially I've made that investment. I want to talk about that today and just maybe, oh, just maybe the chance that it's a Thursday. Could we get some XP to help us progress in that season pass a little bit? We'll talk about that in today's video, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, I want to start off the top with the biggest news, the biggest topic, and that is FC25 because yesterday EA dropped the reveal trailer and I also was able to make a video yesterday, guys, and release it on the channel. If you missed it, make sure you go and check that out. It's very informative, a lot of information, and honestly, more information than what EA released yesterday themselves. It was kind of a quiet day in terms of we didn't get any pitch notes. We didn't get any deep dives for gameplay or any of the big things that they're talking about that they're adding to FC 25. A lot of the info I was given with my trip to Vancouver and it was not shared by them at all yesterday. So it was kind of cool to bring you guys that info. So make sure you check that video out. Now, I'm aware that some people didn't like that EA invited me to play the game early and share this info with you guys. But honestly, guys, here's my thought process on for those of you that are maybe disappointed, right? If if they want to invite me, a guy who promotes playing this game and consistently talks about playing this game in a way that doesn't revolve around spending real money, which is what EA wants you to do on this game, that's how the game is built, then I'm for it. If they want to converse with me and ultimately if they want me to be communicating with you guys and they want your feedback through me to them, like... I'm for it. Like, what's there to not like with that, to be completely honest, right? They're not ever telling me things to say. They're not ever telling me to uh, falsely promote stuff. I'm free to say what I want to say. And I, I don't like that I have to continue to clarify this. You know, we had to talk about this too during the whole League One Tots mess up situation, right? Where I was like, oh, you're an EA Shield mate. No, yes, they invited me out, but it's really because of the community that we have created and that you guys watching the videos, your feedback, they want to hear it, right? And I was kind of the medium for that. Now, of course, we can, of course, be critical with how we see things in this game. And I am definitely skeptical with some of the stuff that I saw yesterday. I just need to see more news and information. And I think that's the one thing that I'm looking for is EA, give us some more pitch notes, details, deep dives on a lot of this stuff. So that was the biggest problem that I have with that reveal that was dropped yesterday. Like, you know, really the things that I want to talk about were in that video that we released yesterday. The things I want to talk about right here and right now are maybe catching up on a few of the major points that I think are actually somewhat false or honestly with the lack of news that EA dropped yesterday, I think it led people to going to a lot of conclusions, which EA would have really prevented that if they would have come out themselves and just talked about the things like the season pass. Guys, I quote tweeted this tweet from Foot Sheriff. This is one of the biggest things right now. Everybody's saying that there's a free season pass and there's going to be a premium season pass that would be paid with either coins and FC points. And I, I quote tweeted this and I said, when we were in, and I'm saying we because there's a lot of other people, not just myself, when we were in Vancouver talking to the EA guys, they said nothing about an extra paid season pass, only that there was a new type of season pass, which we mentioned in the video yesterday. So either EA didn't give us the full story and they were withholding information from us, or um, this leak is incorrect. So we'll have to see guys. Again, this could have all been avoided. This All this hub blub blub could have been avoided if they would have just told us what was going on in the first place. Now, this is another big thing that was talked about yesterday. The 4321 is being removed from FC25. But the way that I see it, it's not being removed at all. Here's why, right? The 4321 is still a formation that's going to be an FC25. Instead of center forwards, they're going to be center attacking mids. And all the formations with right wing backs and left wing backs are just right backs and left backs. And it's not that those positions are being removed from the game 
it's only they're being removed on the face card, right? If you look into the actual IQ player roles, FC IQ player roles, one of the new features in FC 25, you can create a center forward, multiple different types of a center forward, right? If, as a striker, you can make an advanced forward, a target forward, even as a cam, a shadow striker, which is actually Jude Bellingham's one of his role plus pluses that we talked about. Um, in the new game. And with left backs and right backs, you ha can have an attacking wing back or a regular wing back. So it's really just the EA is kind of enveloping those p positions that they were as before um, into positions that already exist because they're actually still going to exist in the game. So I thought that was a little bit of not clickbait, but just a little bit of something that's kind of untrue. The 4-3-2-1 is like still going to be in the game. It just is going to depend on uh, how you play with the roles and how you set up your tactics as to how every single formation is going to operate in FC 25. So guys, bottom line is we need pitch notes. We need news and information about FC 25. I'll be posting a lot more FC 25 related videos as the information comes out, but make sure one more shout, you do check the video from yesterday since it was uploaded at a different time. Now let's move on to the second thing that we mentioned to start the video off today. EA mistakes. All right, EA mistakes. We're here for those because, guys, the EA mistake that was made yesterday is kind of a baffling one as well. This one, I mean, we've had mistakes with SBCs before, but not to the point where they have literally said, we don't know what to do. Here's the problem. And this is the issue or they, they don't even know the issue actually, but that's kind of what I got from their tweet yesterday, which I'll show you here in a second. This is the problem. You're probably wondering where's this naked Nathan Ake card, right? Because it, he was leaked. We were looking forward to this guy being released as an SBC. This card is in concepts. Doesn't look that good. It's on footbin. The stats look kind of mid. He's got four play style pluses. I think if he was going to be released as an SBC, he'd have to be pretty cheap. But something with this is making EA confused because due to an unforeseen issue, the previously shown Nathan Ake SBC was not released today. We are investigating and looking to release it in the coming days. We'll provide an update in this thread when one is available. At least they're honest in saying that they don't know what the frick is going on with this card. They have no idea why the Ake SBC is uh, having unforeseen issues. So that's the problem with this card at the moment. Little EA mistake there. And that's why you see them in concepts and on footbin, but not actually inside of the game. But to be honest, if they're going to put this SBC out, can we please give him plus two or three or four, like passing, dribbling, defense, and physical? The pace is great. High, high work rates, the stats are good there. I think it just needs to be a little bit more in the defending and physical for sure. And maybe even the dribbling a little bit too, um, unless they're going to make him super cheap. But I'd rather have a bit more of a juiced Ake. I don't know about you. Now, some content that was actually released yesterday in the game, not mistakenly uh, released, was the guaranteed team of the tournament pack, which we mentioned in yesterday's video was potentially going to be coming out. And it did get released. And uh, this one was pretty cheap, right? It's only about 70,000 coins to do. It's a gamble pack, guys. If you're saving packs and you're saving fodder for footies, then you're probably not doing this one. I did it and I got a duplicate Kati Uh, But you know what? I was doing it for the chance, for the what if, for the try. And um, yeah, it's there. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. It's not that expensive, but it's not the biggest thing um, from yesterday. Now, I, I will say this as well. Um, there is a lot of fodder prices that are booming because of that SBC and the icon pick refreshing. Uh, 86s, we literally shouted 86s in yesterday's video saying that if you could get them under 7K, they would probably be a good shout. They were under 7K for a little while. Even 7K would have been good profit. They went all the way to 8,300. Now they're coming back down a little bit. They boomed. Look at 85s. 15,000 coins for 85s. They were they were only 14,000 coins yesterday. They went up to 16.5, right? We mentioned in yesterday's video that after the content drop would be the peak time to sell. And that is, that is what happened. Guys, 85s have not been 15K since... Um, April. April was the last time that 80 that 85s or 88, sorry, went to 15k. That's crazy. Fodder is actually really, really high at the moment compared to where it's been. 87s are up, 89s are 26k, and 91s are 22, which we'll talk about this and why 91s are so cheap here in a second, but that's wild how expensive the 89 rated cards are. Good time to sell fodder. 84s are up, 85s are up. Good time to sell fodder, in my opinion, before we get to the weekend because 
we're going to get tradable packs and people are going to be opening packs for footies just because it's footies. Not that I agree with it, but it's footies. So it's going to happen. So I would say sell that fodder, take the cash. It is up. And the other thing I want to talk about in relation to fodder yesterday is this SBC right here. Guys, team of the season and team of the week prices have been crazy expensive for a long time. And this SBC just changed that. In the snap of the fingers yesterday, in the press of a button, Team of the Season cards went from 58,000 coins. They are currently 28K. Dropped 30,000 coins, basically dropped in half of their value. Tots cards are down horrendous. And these are just the regular Tots cards that are 28,000 coins. Actually, ooh, they're going back up a little bit now. Ooh, interesting. They're 29, 28, 29,000 coins. If you look at the Tots Moments cards, which this is a cheeky tip. If any of you guys are looking to do SBCs with Team of the Season requirements, never buy a regular Team of the Season because that's what everybody else buys. Buy a Tots Moments card or a Tots Live uh, or a Tots uh, Plus because these cards are actually cheaper on the market because people don't think about them, but they still work for the TOTS requirements. Anyway, these cards are down like crazy. EA finally supplied these cards because they were, of course, inflated like crazy because the SBCs keep requiring these cards. This is the investment that I was just mentioning. I sent coins into Team of the Season cards right around 26 to 27,000 coins. Whoa, 21K on that Dante bid. Hey, Get on the bids. This is an investment that I would make if you guys are looking to just stash some coins on the transfer list, or like I also said as well, to make your life easier. Team of the Season cards, in my opinion, are not going to be re-released in footy's best of re-release that is going to be coming out this uh, this week. I think Team of the Season cards are still going to be pushed further down the line, and I think that anywhere under 30,000 coins they could go to like 40k again, maybe. Like, I'm not saying this is going to be something that makes uh, these prices move in the next like three or four days and it's a really quick flip scenario. This is probably something where you buy the card, you stack it on your transfer list, and then you're waiting like weeks because during footies, there's a lot of SBCs, there's a lot of hype, and they're going to keep requiring team in the season cards. So I think those could continue to go up, which is why I picked up some to hold on to. Now, I will say this upgrade pack refreshes every single week. The 90 plus tots upgrade the tradable one is going to refresh every single wednesday same thing with like the 81 plus team of the week pack that we have so there will be supply coming in every week but i just thought that for right now i'm just going to stock some of those on my transfer list and try to make some coins on it because even if those go back up to like 35 to 40 thousand coins that's going to be some decent profit there so if you want to get involved i think it's longer term and it's a little risky because even if they do if they do put tots cards back into packs they're going to drop further um, but I think that's a decent investment to make at the moment. Last thing I want to say about Toss cards is if you're wanting to make coins at the moment right now, since these cards are getting supplied tradable, go bid on team of the seasons and try to find some team of the season cards that actually sell for something on the market as well. Um, you know, like that Araujo is 58,000 coins. You just saw one of my transfer lists go on bid in the 40 K range, maybe not Stanway, but try to find some of these team of the season cards that are like you're seeing them go on bid for like 30k where the lowest tots cards are but they actually sell for like 50k where araujo is that would be a really really easy way to make some coins at the moment now the last part of content yesterday was a brand new weekend league objective it is the full france weekend league which actually i think this might be apart from enzo fernandez one of the most useful and best value i guess you could say weekend leagues to use a full nation squad first of all it's france all of our france teams are probably a lot better than the other nation teams they have required so far second of all we've got nice packs inside of here and thirdly we have the new weekend league rewards we're not playing for ultimate tots anymore we're playing for ptg make your mark team and tournament cards in those picks and those packs that's more worth chasing than ultimate tots for me and if you have the opportunity to get yourself this el shirawi card it looks pretty good. It's not amazing. It's just kind of an added bonus on the end. It actually might be worth playing with the France squad this weekend, guys, to be completely honest. This Elshaw's five-star, four-star with finesse, flair, rapid, and uh, whipped pass plus. It's a nostalgia card for sure, honestly. A El Shirawi every year is one card that we kind of look forward to. Just a FIFA legend of the past, FIFA GOAT. He's got the Roma links. It's a solid card for sure. And I do believe that these cards do get a little bit of extra chemistry boost as we talked about in yesterday's video. So 
I might do foot champs this week. And if I do, I'm definitely going to be playing with the French squad. Because if you do get those 12 wins, you get a decent El Shirawi card. But more so, you get some packs. And these packs for footies may come in very, very handy. One thing I did want to mention is if you have French goalkeepers, those are skyrocketing in price. Because a lot of people have the other French cards, right? But the goalkeepers, of course, as they have been for every single other nation of the week in the objectives, seem to be going up a lot in price. I'm sure there's some other France cards out there as well that are moving. Desai, you know, he's not moving that much. A lot of people have these cards untradeable, I think, already, which is why they're not moving that much from the market. But goalkeepers definitely did. Now, talking about footies, what was one thing that we also learned about footies yesterday? Well, that loading screen, right? And it's this one right here. And there's a new card design on here. We've got the footies premium all the way far down there on the left, the footies icon, the footies regular card. And this card right here is the footies hero design. Remember I mentioned, I think Ginola is going to get a card. I know he had a footies card last year, but the whole evolution vibe with people paying 1.3 mil for triple threat Ginola to put him into an evolution. Again, I just smell that he's going to get a footies card. I won't be surprised if he does over the course of this month long, basically a month long footies promo. So this is a loading screen. It's actually, you know what? When I saw this yesterday, I was like, finally, we haven't had a real loading screen actually promoting an upcoming promo in ages so it's kind of nice to see that to be honest because we haven't had one for a while and there is one other leak in relation to footies it is once again confirmed that footies cards are going to be in packs once again last year in fifa 23 was the first time that footies cards were in packs it always used to be an sbc and objective based promo and this year they are going to be in packs once again i would expect to see a 99 rated player probably featuring every single week of footies just like last year where we had the Messi, the Ronaldo, the Neymar, we had Donnarumma, we had a couple of others as well. I wouldn't be surprised if we even see a 99 rated for footies this week. Neymar might be the best shout for like a first player to be released. I know he just had an Evo as well. Again, surprise, surprise. That's EA love doing that. Um, so that's just a guess. It's not a true leak, but I would imagine we get leaked today. I mean, if he is tweeting out that there's going to be footies and packs on Friday, I'm guessing that he has the leaks. So there's probably going to be some news posted about that today. The other question that I want to try to answer was what cards are going to get re-released back in packs, right? Footies always brings old special items back into packs, which actually, especially for Evos this year, might end up being very helpful because maybe you've wanted to Evo. Like if you're a Manchester United fan, the new transferred striker Xerxes, this guy has been extinct for a little while because he fits into the Lucky Sevens Evo and looks pretty bananas. You might have a chance to pack this card and put him into an evo if these future stars get re-released back in packs You're like nate why do i care about future stars well that's kind of how the start of footies always is it's not like they're going to be putting path to glory cards or the team of the tournament cards that are going out of packs back in they're going to start with the least type the farthest away promos from where we are right now some of those older ones like future stars maybe foot birthday um maybe fantasy i hope they don't do any promos before team of the year like if they're putting winter wild cards into packs that's an l I think for me can be to be completely honest. So even these cards, they're not really here to be insane pack pulls. They're really just here to be fodder and they're going to be a lot more fodder in packs. But this is what footies is kind of fun for, right? Because you have all those cards in packs. You see all the different colors for flares and you just get end up getting more higher rated fodder, which is going to be super duper clutch with the exchanges hopefully coming back because they're expiring this Friday. So we'll be able to craft more packs and picks and the menu grind should in theory be better with that extra fodder and packs but i just wanted to kind of set your expectations for not seeing even team of the season cards probably re-released in packs this friday with footies or tomorrow just setting that expectation because everybody expects footies to be insane out of the gate but again in the past couple of years footies has started at least with the stuff being in packs a little bit lackluster now before we get to that tomorrow let's talk about what's happening today in terms of content on this game i mentioned xp at the beginning of the video um again i footies hasn't started yet but tomorrow it does. I'm hoping they release a little bit of XP today. Now, the Festival Football Cup still has one day, 12 hours left on it. So I don't know if we're getting a new cup today. Maybe there's going to be a slight bit of overlap, but I don't know if I expect it or not. Um, but if we're going to get XP, like, where's it going to be? I know we have the footies cards here with Dirk Kite, Alex Scott, and Ala Uh, But what are we going to be getting elsewise for XP? Because we got to have a little bit of 
something, right? I think a lot of us are like, you know, trying to move up the ladder in the season. I don't think we have to be worried about XP yet because I, I to be honest, I think they're going to drop many, uh, a lot of it extra this time around, not like last season, but it does feel like we've had a bit of a slow start. So watch out for that. Watch out for a new cup. I think it's going to be a quiet day, guys, right? The day before footies, it's probably going to be a day of leaks. I mean, I say leaks every single day that I expect to, that, that we expect to see leaks and we continue to not get leaked cards for who's going to be in footies, which is very interesting. Either the leakers have the info and they're not posting about it, or they don't have the info, which would be really weird. I would expect them to have the info. So I would think that we get some more information about that today. Maybe a player SBC. And other than that, I think I'd be surprised if we had anything else uh, super crazy, to be fair, because it's a Thursday, day before footies. I don't think EA wants the hype to be that mad. Let's do 181 plus pick. I'm going to put that 94 rated into an exchange. Yeah, pretty much fodder for me there as well. And uh, maybe I'll start saving this last 85 times five. I've been opening the 85 five still because my club is so empty from the grind being this really, really average this week. The 86 plus player pick expires tomorrow. That's weird. It should be expiring. I guess get this 86 plus player pick done two more times if you can. It should be out again for another day that's maybe a mistake that should be out until friday but i guess it is going away a day early so if you want to do the 86 plus pick a couple last times you'll have that opportunity today before content before that sbc goes away also be on the lookout for more fc25 news and leaks and again one more shout to go check out the video that we posted yesterday we're going to go into more of a deep dive as we were talking about yesterday on stream there were a lot of things that ea kind of small things that ea kind of confirmed the first evolution rush points and some of the pre-order stuff well there's some easter eggs in there but i'm really hoping that we get some more information soon from ea on fc25 specifically from them with more detail with more detail and things they've changed, updated, and uh, maybe even some of the feedback we've provided that has led to some of these changes. That would be nice to see as well. So make sure you check that video out. I'll link that right above right here. But if you enjoyed this video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in another video or a stream. If you want to go to the stream today, we'll be there. That link's in the description. But see you in another video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the count. Have a happy Thursday. Peace out.